All right, kids, let's get settled and ready for math. Oh man, Mr. Mursky, math is boring. Come on now, kids, I got something exciting planned today. <laughs> All right, what's this about? It's geometry. What? Shapes, sides, angles, geometry. What's that? Don't get it all tangled, geometry. Huh? Gotta get it in your mind. Instead of hearing lessons, let's learn it with the rhyme. Okay. This is geometry, and buddy, it's great. We learn it about angles and studying shapes. Uh -huh. It can be easy if we learn it with the beat. So turn off your voice, listen up, and take a seat. I will. If an angle over 90, we call it I'm a two. Too. And if it goes below, we call it a, a cube. cube. And if it's right on 90, that's when we call it right. That's perpendicular, and you should know it on sight. If two lines don't touch, we call it parallel, like railroad tracks or the letters double, double L. L. Segments end, but lines go on forever. And if it only goes one way, it's a ray. That's clever. Yeah. Triangle sides and angles are three. three. Quadrangles got four. You beginning to see I think quadrilaterals? So. Uh, you ain't even gotta guess. They got four sides, and that'll be on the test. I'm an ace of for real. A rhombus means four sides are all alike. Right. A rectangle got four angles, and they are all right. right. A square got four equal angles and sides. And when you can tell them apart, I promise you feel the pride. Yeah. Pentagons, five sides, hexagons, six. Octagons got eight. eight. Decagons in the mix. Six. Now that's ten sides. They ain't gotta be the same. But however many sides, every shape got a name.